scribe a line. So you have a line here, line here. Then you take this to the bandsaw and you cut that beveled cut from scribed line to scribed line. That's the bevel of this piece as it fits against the boat. Clamp that to the board, right back to the board like this. So now he's a tight fit over here. You bring that guy over there. And of course, doesn't, he got, initially he doesn't fit, right? Put it, draw a line like that, draw a line along like that, cut it, cut it that again, slide this back out till it contacts, clamp it, clamp it, and you see, oh, now it fits exactly. Uh, when you went to the bandsaw, you, you followed the both lines and that gave you the compound? Yeah, liner? it's, yeah, it's yeah. a, it's yeah. a, it's 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 a, and then they left that that way, so right. the next one of us came along, it wasn't square anymore. <laughs> but, so anyway, so okay. Another thing uh, that you could s stick in a wedge of plywood in here and it would be fine, strength-wise. You know, you just you know, the bolt in a big old chunk of pressure-treated plywood and you'd be in. okay, but it wouldn't look all that good. But a lot of home built boats, and you see you know, kit boats are done that way, and even kit boats that are kind of designed by people who really haven't been around boats really, but have seen pictures of boats type of thing. There, there's some, uh, some stuff that just makes things look better. And one of which is that these want to be kind of installed with a slight, slight upward rake to them like this. A crown. Because that, that's, you can't expect that with a boat. You notice that there's been a crown, been, a crown has been planed in the top of that breast hook, for example. If you had deck beams, you know, when you build a deck on that boat, right. it's kind of, uh, you, you, it's for strength, it's the way uh, things fit together, and Water better, and your, yeah, and your, and your eye likes it. If it was there on the flat, you'll see this a lot, it, it spoils the whole look of everything else, because you've got, you've got a crown on your transom, just it doesn't look right so you want to have some some sort of crown and this is kind of a by eye thing that usually isn't on the plans so what i initially did with this is i said okay this is this is what i want want for my knee right here and i kind of got it like this and the well i'll show you how actually i came up with sort of anyway, i'll go through the procedure how i actually made the pattern because usually you don't have a pattern. Put, took a piece of plywood, kind of out of this, and said, "Okay, I want I want to have this much, this you know this much kind of rake, no rake upward." Well, what I did is I started said did one side, brought it up to a center point here, then brought it back down again, so it's symmetrical. Is this going to have a curve or a? Or a it, it's going to. They're going to be a two flat planes. But it's going to be curved. Yes. I mean the transom, the top of the yes, transom. Yes, this is determining the shape of your transom, right? Well, no, this is this this is the, just for the knees. <coughs> okay. So I want wanted to have my knee, you know. So this is not the top of the transom. No, no, no. This is you know, all this is is that's a reference point. I said, okay, this is how much rake I want to have to this. I brought it to here, and I brought it back down again. So so it's symmetrical. 